This is a B&G 213 wind sensor, and here is the ANT upgrade product to this. If it has stopped working but the cups and vane are still turning OK, then the most likely reason is failure of the printed circuit board inside. We have a separate video on YouTube and our website on how to change this. Replacement parts, including this PCB, are held in stock by ANT. The other problems are a wiring issue or a problem with the instrument processor. To check the wiring, first download the test diagnostic sheet from the ANT website and locate the instrument processor. The Tech Hub, found under the Support tab, has a lot of useful diagnostic sheets, including this one. You need to find where the wind sensor wires connect to the instrument processor. The steps below apply to any B&G system, including H2000, H3000, H5000 and WTP. We're showing the steps here with an A&T interface. This is where the masthead unit connects. There are two mast cable color codes as shown on the accompanying sheet. Here we show the A&T colors connected into the masthead unit connector block. To test, we need to point the vane forwards 90 degrees to starboard, aft, and 90 degrees to port. Check it works at those four points. It's possible for it to show OK for some of the way around, but not all. Therefore, it should be checked at all four points. The wind speed should measure when you spin the cups. Now, with a meter, check the volts are output from the processor. Set the multimeter on voltage. The first thing to do is measure the supply voltage. And on an ANT cable that is red and black, and on the BNG cable it is orange and black. Most systems, including ANT, should have close to 6.5 volts. Some other systems have 5 volts. Once you have checked the masthead unit voltage, you can check the voltage of the three analog phases with the black probe on the black wire. On an ANT cable, the three phases are yellow, green, and blue. And on a BNG cable, the colors are red, green, and blue. Depending on where the wind angle is, you measure the three voltages. They should all be moving between close to zero volts and the masthead unit supply voltage, which in this case is 6.5 volts. Now, with a meter, check the vane angle data is being sent by the wind sensor. There's a chart on the printout that shows the expected voltages at set angles for both 6.5 and 5 volt systems. With the masthead unit pointing straight ahead, you would expect to see close to 0 volts on the red or yellow phase and, on a 6.5 volt system, close to 3.7 volts on the green phase and then similar, close to 3.7 volts on the blue phase. You can check these voltages at any of the angles on the printout. You can also use this printout if you know the approximate wind angle and you want to check the voltages at the mast junction box. You can get a good idea of the voltages that you should be seeing for the current wind angle. If the wind Wind angle voltages are all working OK, then the fault must be in the processor. We'll check this by simulating the wind speed pulses into the processor. The wind speed pulses come down on the white wire on an ANT cable or the violet wire on a BNG cable. To test the wind speed, remove the white or violet wire from the terminal block and using a small offcut of wire or paper clip, connect to the black and tap on the input where the white or violet wire was removed. The faster you tap, the faster the wind speed reading you'll get on the instruments. If any of these are not working, then it is either a wiring fault, for example at the mast junction box, or a replacement wind sensor PCB is required. Please look on our website or YouTube channel for a separate ANT video showing how to replace a PCB. These parts are kept in stock. If all of these are working and no data is shown on the processor, then the processor is faulty. If an ANT instrument processor is used, then these diagnostics are all provided on the web server. All of the parts in the wind sensor are available from ANT and are held in stock for same day shipping. Complete upgraded units are also available in both the horizontal and vertical models as a direct upgraded replacement for a BNG213. 
A&T make very high performance and well-engineered sailing instrument upgrades for existing yachts, as well as complete systems for new builds and major refits. Spares, sensors and accessories are kept in stock for 24-7 shipping around the world. Please see our other videos on our website or YouTube channel or contact A&T for further assistance.